studying this subject will help you to understand administrative processes and challenges of the government. This is a subject which will help you to analyze what are the processes in a government and challenges to the government. Hello everyone, myself Vishakha Singh and today I'm here bringing you this video about public administration optional. Students, public administration optional is considered a very good and popular optional. Why? Let us see that why is public administration a good optional? Since it has a wide array of topics ranging from administrative theories to state and federal levels. Also, it con contains Indian administration. After reading or studying this optional, a UPSC aspirant inculcate two qualities which are administrative skills plus problem solving attitude <laughs> these are the two qualities after you go through these labors and the material of public administration since this is a subject for a civil servant how to deal with the public how to deal how you should have ethics and all the things. So it will include your administrative skills and problem solving attitude. The next thing is, we should look at the syllabus first for paper one and paper two. Let us look at this syllabus of public administration. Look students, you can see that the paper one, your paper one includes your introduction to administrative theories. As I said, that this subject deals with all the administrative theories in this paper one. There are administrative thoughts available, administrative behavior, organization, accountability and control. Like a civil servant has to deal with all the things where he has to control the administration and accountable also. So it has to deal with all the things and study in this subject. Paper 2, like here you have to deal with financial administration also, which will help you in GS paper 3, which is your social development. Okay, and the next in paper 2, you will have a huge chunk of uh, polity and constitution. For example, union, government and administration. The executive, the parliament, the judiciary structure, it has all the part in GS paper 2, which is your polity. Okay. GS paper 4 is also included in this, for example, this topic number 8, where you have to deal with training and capacity building, good governance initiative, the code of conduct, the discipline, political rights you have. So this topic is going to overlap with GS paper 4, which is your ethics. So students, before starting your preparation, go through the labors of both the paper, paper 1 and paper 2, so that you analyze yourself that what are the things which are getting overlap with other GS papers. Okay, let's get back to the video where we are going to study about the pros and cons of a subject. Look students, there is no, like there is nothing like that, that are optional, this optional is good and this optional is bad. Uh, thing is like this should be a best fit for an individual. So I must tell you the pros of this optional. First pros of public administration is that it has great relevance to civil services. Public administration is a subject that is directly relevant to the functioning of civil services. Studying this subject will help you to understand administrative processes and challenges of the government. This is a subject which will help you to analyze what are the processes in a government 
and challenges to the government second thing availability of study material there are some options where study material is limited where you do, you, you do not find study material for a subject but public administration you have numerous number of books and study material available in the market third thing limited overlap with other other subjects for example i told you that gs paper 2 and gs paper 3 and gs paper 4 has an overlapping with this uh, public administration optional gs paper 2 gs paper 3 and gs paper 4 fourth thing it has a good scoring potential if you go through all the previous year question paper all the uh, syllabus of paper 1 and paper 2 you deeply analyze what are the topics of polity what are the topics of ethics what are the topics of social development you will be able to answer all the question in a very relevant information so you have that uh, advantage of this subject is that scoring potential is very high the cons of this public administration are limited but i should tell you that it has a large syllabus so be ready give your best put effort to complete this syllabus the syllabus of public administration is quite large which can make it challenging to cover all the topics in detail but since you know that the topic uh, which are getting overlap in gs paper also so you have to be very efficient in doing your gs paper topics with according to the public administration optional second thing changing nature of the questions every time the questions of public administration optional paper your questions will be changing the nature of questions in public administration has been changing in recent years with greater emphasis on analytical and application based questions so administration you have to deal with the administration you have to what you go, you got to have some problem solving attitude within yourself you have to think about any topic in a critical manner so that's why upsc demands that you need to have an analytical thinking towards each and every topic that's why it is giving you questions based on applicant application based and analytical questions this can make it challenging for candidates who have relied on rote learning never rely on rote learning have your concepts very clear from basics to advanced so that if upsc is trying to trap you in different types of questions with lot of variations you are able to cover up them third thing the subject is theoretical subject public administration is a theoretical subject which can make it difficult for candidates to apply the concepts to real world for example um public administration has a very large chunk of theoretical part so you have to deal with it like you have there are no a uh, case studies to it or there are no problem solving to it so you have to understand the theories or the theoretical part in a very basic to advanced manner so that you have a very good command to each and every topic fourth thing scoring potential the competition is very high in public administration since every second student is going to opt for public administration so it's the pop, pop, popular optional among the candidates so you have to work hard to get through this exam overall public administration can be a good optional for candidates who have strong interest functioning of the government and civil services however candidates should be also aware of the challenges associated with this subject and should be prepared to put in the required effort to score well in the exam so you need to give your best effort you need to understand the concepts in a very thorough manner you need to have a analytical thinking to each and every topic just read any topic and just think of yourself as a civil servant that how if a challenge has come up to you how you will deal with that topic so you need to have a critical thinking and analytical thinking because you have to at the end of the day you have to solve the problems that's why you have opted for pub public ad administration that's why uh, let's end this video if you have any kind of doubt you can comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much